I see how it feels to be rich. I live by the beach now. That's how I should live. Since I was a toddler, I knew that I would become this. I cannot move slow. That's a big bank, no. Gotta chase this money, bankroll after big bankroll. I must get this money. I must get this money. I must get this money, get this money, get this money. I addicted to balling. I have to get my cash. Today's a work day, gentlemen, and you know what that means? We gotta get better today. What I wanna know is who's ready to work. Man, that was great. I mean, you had a great day today. The game is really starting to slow down for you, isn't it? I can't wait to see what you're gonna do on Sunday. Good job. Trying to move it up. It was like lemon in the morning. Skip the school, that's a truancy it. I made me some rats in the morning. I had me a pop out of morning. I had me some breaks by the morning. I had a sis by the morning. I got on a meat on the morning. The rats keep me up on these. Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Coachman. Start the drive. And his first.
first pass is incomplete. Coverage that time by Bobby McCain. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one because to me, when that happens, key guys are out, the next man steps up and plays well. But that starts with the organization itself all the way through. No excuses for guys being out. Finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them. And we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. And he's got it to Hearns. Oh, and now he bowls him over. He's, and now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And the Dolphins have got it. And great effort. I mean, does he get burned for that in film? He fought through some tackles. In result, though, a fumble. It's going to be one of those situations where he'll get yelled at about the fumble, but at the same time get a check mark for the extra effort. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to let this go deep, back over the middle. And incomplete, an excellent play downfield. Should have been picked off, really. But second down instead. Watch it now, Barney, Barney! They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field. And really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover, bat it free. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Flush to his right. Wide open receiver complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. They'll set up a throw. Forced out to his left. And a little floater there is incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. <laughs> on second down, Elliott. And now running right through it. And it worked his way across the 30 to the 32. And now it looks like we've got a Cowboy shaken up down there on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. They'll throw. Flushed out right. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 
They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown, Cowboys. Allen Hearns. Here's a play fake as they set up the throw. Looking deep down. He's got a man complete. The 20, 10, and he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Allen Hearns is set. Solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And that run, that changes the whole mentality about the drive right there. They were starting on their own two-yard line. They just wanted enough space to pump the football successfully. Now they're talking about putting together a drive. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. He'll look to throw. He'll buy some time right. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. It's a big play there on third down. 41 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. First down carry by Elliott. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. He hits Beasley right side. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. The Cowboys on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This time it's third and three. They'll drop the throw. Being chased out left. A good decision in the end. The pull it and run gets him nine yards at a first. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That would have been a great. was real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Second down, here's an option right. Gave a glimpse of his quick feet and then taken down right at the 30. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself.
So we've come upon halftime here in Super Bowl 53, as we'll send you down. So the halftime show. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They're going to look to throw. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Looking to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. His second catch in the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. They'll look to throw. He's going to air one out. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Cowboys. Terrence Williams, 60 yards. The try, the try. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Dancing to his left, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Kiko Alonso in there to drop him for a loss on the play. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Eluding the pressure right. But he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. Pretty lucky to get the football back. Had his target out there waving the arms, saying, I'm open, but maybe you didn't see him quick enough. And I know the jokes are always about defensive backs' hands. What really actually happens, you don't get many opportunities. You get over-anxious, and you start to think about taking it away and going the other way instead of focusing and catching the ball. Buying time to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. They're going to try and throw. And that's caught by Beasley. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And just as you called it after the earlier sack, they set up the screen. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Personal foul, face mask. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always and enjoy the conversation down. post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on first and ten. First down, and they'll try to run the option left. And maybe the wrong read there is he's going to go down immediately. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. 
That was a momentum play lost. And now there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at... Second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. So after the sack here, second and 14. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Hot. They'll set up to throw. Steps away. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the... here on first down forced out to his left and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line one play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10 He'll drop to throw. Out to his left. And this will be caught at the 30. Give him 30 yards there. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. A give to Elliott. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. And it's caught. Nice gain of eight that time, but it's second and goal. Seeing that play and under... Just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And <laughs> what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. They come out here in the eye. Green 39! Green 39! They'll try and sneak it here. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. It's their quarterback with a record fourth Super Bowl touchdown tonight. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Start the drive with Elliott, and he's across midfield and into Miami territory. 
Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. As they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They go to Elliott again. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Lumber, Lumber. Now let's go. Blue lining. Blue lining. The give is to Elliott. Spins by. Oh, Zeke with a quick feet. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. So first and 10 now from the 30. The Cowboys on their way to victory as they take an aim. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout. And the Dallas Cowboys will hoist the Lombardi Trophy. They are the kings of the NFL. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. Year, just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports